Hey guys, what is up? This is I, Steve-O here. And today, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox Live to a Mac. Okay, so usually when you're using Xbox Live, you need to be either connected through Ethernet cable, which comes with the Xbox, which is this, <coughs> connected to a router, or using a Wi-Fi adapter, which you can buy at a lot of stores. The problem with the Ethernet cable is, since it needs to be connected to a router, most people don't have the routers near their Xboxes. The problem with the wireless adapter is that it costs a lot of money, $60 to $100 depending on the store you buy it at. So I'm going to show you how to plug your Ethernet cable into your MacBook and get the internet off there to your Xbox. So what you're going to want to do is go to System Preferences. Once there, under Internet and Wireless, click Sharing. Once there, go to Internet Sharing. And make sure it is says Sharing Your Connection From. You should choose Airport. And then check off Ethernet. Then check off Internet Sharing over here. It will say, are you sure you want to turn on Internet Sharing? You click Start. And there you go. And that's what you have to do for the Mac part. Now I'm going to go to the Xbox part. Hey guys, what's up? That was the Mac part, and this is what you have to do for the Xbox part. So first thing is first. Take one end of the Ethernet cable and plug it in to the MacBook. Got that in? Take the other end of the Ethernet cable and plug it into the Xbox right under where the power brick is. The power cord, I mean, right there. So let's get this in. There we go, that's in. Now let's go over to the Xbox screen. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, it says disconnected from Xbox Live. So before, now you have to set up the a, a bunch of numbers. So go to system settings. Go to network settings. Go to configure network. Okay, then click on this first green here. This whole block over here, click on that. And change it from automatic to manual. Okay, so now you have to enter in some numbers which I will put in the description also. Okay, so first for the IP address, the numbers you want to enter are 192.168.2.2. Okay, then press done when you're done with that. And then for the subnet mask, the numbers you're going to enter are 255.255.255.255. Then for the gateway, the numbers you're going to want to enter are 192.168.2.1. Then press done and done. And now go down to this, the DNS settings, which you also have to change. To change that from automatic to manual. And for the primary DNS server, the numbers are 68.105.28.11. For the secondary DNS server, the numbers are 68.105.29.11. Click done, go back, go back, press back, press back, press back. Then go to your Xbox, go to your name. Go to connect to Xbox Live and it is signing in. Here it goes. And it is signed in to Xbox Live. All the ad, all the ad feeds are here. The game marketplace I can go into. Everything is here. Xbox Live. Just like that. My friend list, everything. Okay, so, if, you, if you're having some trouble and when you try to connect to Xbox Live after you did everything I said, 
then try resetting your Xbox and it should work. So guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Peace out. Till next time.